the things that they're doing with the with the committee with the turnaround arts program uh, is fantastic and I'm very honored to be part of it there's a lot of great artists that are involved in it I'm looking forward to getting my school I'm, I'm gonna have a school that's all for me and I'm gonna just have fun with those kids and, and uh, try to get them into music and, and once they're excited and having fun they're gonna do well and flourish in all other parts of their lives and, and uh, that's something that uh, is an honor for me to do. Well, my uh, Flea, who, who plays in my group, he has a uh, nonprofit school that he's been running for over 10 years called the Silver Lake Conservatory of Music. Very involved, and, and, and uh, we're very passionate about music education and bringing arts and music to kids. They are underprivileged and don't have the exposure, and I think it's really important for kids any way they can, they can get it. So I'm sure that uh, they'll help me out. We shot the film at the end of 2013, so it's, oh, Clint Eastwood is, a, I mean, he's an icon, it, it, and it, he's a man of very few words, but the words that he does share with you have deep impact and instantly affect your performance. And the fact that Clint Eastwood is such a master director, period, I mean, it was in perfect hands. I was a little nervous at first. At first, and then when the the other the boys from the Turnaround Arts program started singing "Can't Take My Eyes Off You," and they instinctively started singing it at her, and I saw her kind of start to melt. By the time, oh no, they were instinctive. They were instinctively kissing kissing up to the the first lady in such a flattering way, and I saw her start to melt when they did that. And so by the time I entered the stage, because I you know I shared it with them, and I sang later. Uh, it, she, I think she was butter in our hands. I think what happens, uh, unfortunately, which has always bothered me my whole entire life, and anyone who cares about the arts but also understands why the arts are essential, is the idea that the arts are frivolous. The arts are not frivolous. And the reason why they're not frivolous is because, unlike sports, which builds, which builds teamwork and all that stuff, which is also necessary, the arts capture the imagination of young people. It's not about putting kids in the arts so that they go into the arts as a profession. It's about using the arts as a tool so that we build leaders in every profession. If you're a mathematician and you have the best idea of everyone in your field, but you can't get up at a podium and, and communicate that idea, your idea is lost to the world. You know, I've been doing baseball for a lot longer than I've been doing music. Uh, so, you know, all those world championships and all those, you know, great things that happened to me as a baseball player, I always have them, you know, very deep in my heart. But now, I'm, you know, I have a chance to reinvent myself and doing something completely different. I think, you know, not a lot of people know that. And, uh, you know, if, it, if any, it works in my favor uh, because it kind of opens doors for me. But at the end of the day, I still need to play, you know, so I, need, I still need to perform. But I am very grateful for the opportunity that music and the arts have given me uh, through the course of my life. And, uh, you know, it's, that's why it's so very, uh, very important for me to be here, to be able to give back to the community and uh, to be an advocate for that.